what's up guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by thank you for clicking on this video so on today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful pinafore top as you can see it is very very beautiful i can't get over how gorgeous this looks so i'm just showing you the two ways you can wear it you can either put the strap side in front or the pinafore part in front so let's go over to the work table first you're going to start by folding your fabric into two we are going to be cutting the pinafore part of this first so i folded my fabric into two and i marked out the shoulder line and the waistline and i added half an inch for seam allowance on the shoulder line i'm going to mark my shoulder measurement divided by two minus one inch so if your shoulder measurement is 14 divided by two is seven so you are going to mark six inches on your shoulder line so that is what i did and after that i marked the neck width of three inches and a neck depth of three inches so i'm just connecting the neck and after that i'm going to mark half an inch for the shoulder slope and i'm going to connect it to the neck width and then i'm going to cut this out So for the flay, you are going to fold your fabric into four and then your waist measurement, you are going to add your zipper allowance to it and whatever you get, you are going to divide by 6.28 and mark whatever you get. For instance, my waist measurement is 27 inches. I added one inch for the zipper allowance and that will give me 28. 28 divided by 6.28, I have 4.4. So I just rounded that up to 4.5 and what I'm marking up here is 4.5 So I'm going to make sure my measuring tape is at the edge of the fabric and I'm going to rotate and mark like this And after marking the point, so I'm just going to connect it to form a nice semicircle like this so for the length of the flay, I want it to be 8 inches long, but I'm going to mark 8.5 inches because I'm going to use half an inch for the hemming of this flay. So I'm going to keep marking 8.5 all around this folded part. So it's very easy. I already have a detailed video on how to do this. But from watching this one, you should be able to do it as well. So I'm just marking that 8.5 inches. So I'm just going to connect the points I just marked together like this. And after that, on the upper part, I'm going to add half an inch. Because I'm going to use this half an inch to add the center piece to this lower part of this flay. So I'm just going to cut it out like this after cutting it this is what i have okay so i'm going to cut out the remaining two pieces using the same exact method i used for this one so i've cut it out like i said the first one was eight inches long the second one i made it five inches long as you can see here it's shorter than the first one and the third one i made it 3.5 inches long so you can use these measurements for yours if you want you can alter it if you want as well so next thing i'm going to show you how to cut the belt that connects the front panel to the back panel so from 2 inches to 1.5 inches is okay but mine i used 1.5 so I cut out a strip of about 16 inches long which is the waist from my shoulder to my waist and at that to that measurement I added 
two inches extra so that i can use it to so that i won't be short of fabric so your your measurements can add two inches extra to that so you won't be short of fabric so this is what i have and i'm going to cut two of that so for the waistband i my waist measurement is 27 inches like i said but the length of the belt i cut is 40 inches because i want this belt to be long and i'm also marking four inches downwards like this so that by the time i finish turning my waistband and attaching to the peplum i would have about two inches to the waistband will be about two inches long i hope you get what i mean so this is the center of the pinafore and this is the two straps i told you i cut so i'm going to attach that to the shoulder and i'm going to attach this other side to the shoulder as well and this is the peplum part that is going to the waist like this but and what i did next was to cut out an interfacing for the peplum part which is gum c and i also cut out lining piece for the pinafore part so this is this is it i have my gum stay and the lining for all the flay parts that i cut out so i'm just showing you so i cut out the so i cut out the interfacing by placing the ankara on the interfacing and then i cut it out so what i want to do next is to take this to my ironing board and use my hot iron to iron attach this to the flip and then i'm going to put my lining on it like this and i'm going to take it to the sewing machine to make a stitch all around this pattern after doing that i did a top stitch and i opened the mid part by cutting off the lining so this is the second flip part i did the same thing to it as you can see i have my interfacing the lining and the fabric so i also did that for the third panel of this flip part so for the pinafore i cut out my lining exactly the same size with the fabric so you can cut out an interfacing for this if you want but i didn't cut an interfacing for mine so what i did next was to place my lining on the main fabric and then i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew on the neck and i'm going to close the two sides like this after that i'm going to use the lower part and turn it inside out so this is the flip part after sewing from the inside is what i have okay and this is what i have from the ankara part of this so what i want to do next is to cut out the lining in the middle so that we'll have the opening like we have in this piece you are seeing here so i'm going to cut it out okay so after cutting it i'm going to put the three panels together i'll put the longest followed by the medium and then the smallest on top just the way i want it to be and i'm going to make an opening for the zipper okay so if you want you can slit the flay from the beginning to the end part but i just want my zipper to be short i don't want it to be very long so i made uh, about seven inches long so i'm going to connect make a mark there and then i'm going to slit it open so that opening will be where i'm going to attach my zipper okay so when you do this it will be easy for you to wear if you don't put your zipper you may you won't be able to get into your dress
okay so before attaching the zipper i'm going to close the three i'm going to sew the three fleece together like this so in the middle part there i'm going to make a stitch just like that then i would attach the zipper so here is a zipper already attached to it as you can see it's very beautiful so this is the zipper this makes it easy for you to get in and out of this outfit easily okay so this is it already i'm feeling it it's beautiful as you can see it's so fine so next thing I want to do is to grab this, the center part of this and see mine is about 12 inches wide so you can set to go more than this or even smaller than this if you want it depends on what you want so you can make yours wider or tinier so this is what I have from the inside so I'm going to fold this into two and then I will notch the center Okay, I'm going to make a notch on the center, on the lower part, not on the neckline, please, on the lower part, just make a notch. And then on the flat part, I'm also going to fold it into two equal parts and get the notch. So what I want to do is to make sure that this upper part aligns properly with the lower part. That's where you have to mark the center so what you want to do next is to put the two panels together sides right sides facing and you are going to ensure that the notches you made on the two panels match and you can either take it to the sewing machine to sew or you can pin it so for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to pin this two panels together like this okay so this is what I have as you can see all right after that this is the band that will connect the front and the back panel so like I said it's about 1.5 inches wide you can do two inches if you want you can even go more than that but I want mine to be 1.5 inches so I've turned the two of them inside out so what I want to do is to grab the dress and on that shoulder line that shoulder point I'm going to fold it in by half an inch like this I hope you can see what I'm doing and then I'm going to put the band on it like this so it's very easy fold in put and then pin it together so this is the point where I'm going to make a stitch when I take it to the sewing machine so I'm going to do the same for the other side I'm going to fold it fold it in with about half an inch and then push the strap in with about half an inch as well and I'm going to pin it down so this is I'm going to make take it to the machine and make a stitch on that pin part okay and on the pin four sides the joining I'm also make a stitch so here is the waistband there are two ways you can attach your waistband to this if you want your waistband to pass through the center that is your tummy part you don't have to slit it into two but I want mine to be at the two sides so what I did was to cut the waistband I made I cut it into two equal halves so I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and close the sides and then turn it inside out like this so I'm going to grab one side of the one of the waistband, attach it to the upper part of this dress, and then I'm going to pin it to it like this. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I just attach the waistband to the upper part, and then I'm going to make a stitch on it, and then stitch on the waist of this top. So I did the same to the two sides. So I'm just pinning the waistband to it. And after doing that, I'm going to attach that strap I attached to the shoulder to the waistband like this. And I'll come and show you the finished. 